Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from OutKick dated May 29th. And I saw the headline and just kind of said, I'm sure this is going to be some sort of BS, so let's see what it is. It says, Tennis player Sloan Stevens' racism towards athletes online has only gotten worse but doesn't give examples. Because that's usually how things like this go these days, is that someone who is of a higher melanin count says, ah, I'm crying wolf, and then someone goes, where's the wolf? And they're like, it's just there, you have to believe me. I don't have any evidence to support it, but it's just there, just please believe me. And meanwhile, everybody should really be just like, but you what we're just supposed to, what like okay like what <laughs> so let's see what actually happens here and now i don't follow tennis in fact i haven't followed tennis since probably like the early to mid 90s heyday of like uh you know uh agassi chang courier uh graf sellers you know all that stuff and i didn't really follow it like super closely but i did watch wimbledon stuff like that uh every so often because i always thought wimbledon was pretty cool so let's see what this is. And again, I'm not really familiar with who's playing now or anything. It says, following a first round victory at the French Open, tennis player Sloane Stevens, who is this lady right here, talked to the press about facing racism online. It says, according to Reuters, Sloane said that she faces more racism now than in the past. It says, yes, it's obviously been a problem in my career, said Stevens. It has never stopped. If anything, it's only gotten worse. People online have free reign to say whatever they want behind fake pages, which is obviously very troublesome. And she's not wrong about that. <coughs> was, excuse me, I'm not cutting that out. There are a lot of keyboard warriors out there that like to say shit and just... They're assholes, you know, but you just got to put it away. But she continues, says, it's something I have had to deal with my whole career. It's something I will continue to deal with. I'm sure that's that. And that's unfortunate if that's really happening because nobody should have to deal with that. So... Says, the article says she did not cite an example of racism, but rather spoke in more general terms. Apparently, there's a software available at the French Open to help deal with these issues. A software available? Okay. It says, according to The Independent, the software provided by organizers for the first time is able to identify and remove racist or other forms of hate speech, which is just an ambiguous term, doesn't really mean anything, just stuff I don't like. And the French Tennis Federation has made it available to all players in the tournament. It says, using, art using artificial intelligence... Uh, the software filters out abusive comments on social media platforms such as the Twit Twat, Instagram, and TikTok. So Steven says she's aware of the software. Says, I did hear about the software, but I have not used it, she said, which is kind of curious given what she's, you know, saying is going on. But okay, maybe she just didn't want to. It says, I have a lot of obviously keywords banned on Instagram and all of these things, but that doesn't stop someone from typing in an asterisk or typing it in a different way, which obviously software most of the time doesn't catch. Without examples, it's difficult to know what Sloan is referencing. That is correct. So Sloan Stevens claims of racism leads to examples from other countries. It says the Reuters article, which is a wire report being used on ESPN.com, The Guardian, The Independent, among others, cites more recent examples or cites recent examples from the sports world. Okay, so all very left wing, if not leftist websites. So there's that. So they're just, again, saying there's a wolf. We're crying wolf. We're not, we can't show you the wolf. You just have to trust us that it's there. Okay, it says, the interesting part is that neither example took place in the United States. Oh, so that's fun. And is Sloane Stevens from the United States? Uh, I don't know, and this article uh, so far hasn't said. I don't know if she's an American player or not. And if she is and she's crying about it, and then they're giving examples from other places, it's like, why? Uh, that's not really how journalism is supposed to work. You don't go, yeah, there's this lady, she's experiencing this thing, and to prove that, we're going to show examples from somewhere else in the world entirely. Yeah, okay. So professional athletes in all sports are, regula are regularly confronted with racist comments and behavior with Real Madrid soccer player Vinicius Jr., the most notable recent case, the reports read. I don't follow soccer. I don't know who that is. So the English soccer club Tottenham Hotspur was working this month with the Metropolitan Police to investigate an allegation of racial abuse towards South Korean striker Son Hyung Min. The report continues, and I apologize if I got any of those names wrong. Uh, I don't like getting people's names wrong at all. Um, so it's important to note that Stevens was speaking in France, obviously the host nation for the French Open. Well, yes. So perhaps some of these issues are more prevalent overseas. In America, our own media likes to constantly talk about our racist society. It says, yet the examples used for sports racism, sparked by comments from an American tennis player, okay, so she's American, refer to situations in the European soccer league. <laughs> Again, it's like, I'm going to prove to you that this thing exists by showing you examples that didn't happen anywhere around here. <laughs> okay. It says, maybe this can serve as a reminder on this Memorial Day, because that's where the article was written, of course. It says, America might not be the racist, sexist, homophobic hellhole that some people believe it to be, because those people are dumb. 
Because there are always going to be bad people who do and say horrible things, and they exist all over the globe. Yep, and they will forever exist all over the globe, no matter what you try to do. Says, but continuing to stoke racial division is not productive. Quite the opposite. Rather, it's extremely counterproductive. Yes, if you don't believe me, look at the last 10 years or so. Just so, just go and look up a poll that or it's like a graph that shows uh, like how people feel about uh, racial division in this country pre-Obama and post-Obama. And then tell me that it's not extremely counterproductive. <coughs> or, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so but here we are. <coughs> Excuse me, geez, I don't know where that came from. Not cutting it out. So, but here we are on Memorial Day with a story about racism in sports leading the headlines in several major outlets. Without any proof or substantive examples, just ask the general, just the general idea that racism exists. It's all becoming very tiresome. Yes, it is. And that's why I kind of petered off at the end of the articles because it's like... Ah, okay, here we go again. Once again, someone says something exists and it doesn't seem to exist where she says it supposedly exists. But I'm sure something might be happening. But if you're going to, what's the, what's the uh, saying? If you're going to make an extraordinary claim, you need to provide extraordinary evidence. So Stevens has not provided any extraordinary evidence to it. In fact, she's provided none. So what do you guys think about this? Are you tired of this? And like, can we, can we all just get along? I mean, is, is that too hard to ask? Can we just stop bringing this up and just treat all, treat each other as human beings? I mean, is that really that hard of a thing to do? Cause I don't think it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.